Hey, what's up, everybody? It is about to get busy, so we are taking the polls. The polls we're taking on uh, maybe a like button, maybe a subscription, maybe a comment, but we're taking the polls. We are taking the polls a little bit on sub racing, and hope you guys have been enjoying the weekly updates on the world sub ranking that i've been posting online and yes i would actually post the link somewhere in here but i first need a thousand subscribers before youtube at least allows me to get to that feature so not quite unblocked yet so thank you guys for that one but this week this week uh, sub racing wise for our, our sub race lovers uh, it's been a little bit of a downtime and nothing has changed in the top 10 that doesn't mean there wasn't races, by the way. I must state that the state of SOP racing appears to be extremely healthy. We have so many races, actually, locally races, because you guys might know or don't. I'm also covering local German races for the German part of my website. And I really have to say, there is so much going on. So many people, like for example, there was this one SOP Alps Trophy Tour stop number two this weekend and there were over a hundred paddler and also a lot of kids so a lot of things are moving locally the grassroots events people are putting in their efforts into sub racing there's another one coming up in switzerland another one like a festival style sup race so nobody needs to tell me that sub racing is not in a good shape yes and the one in switzerland is another it's a it's a festival style the urban pedal at the bodensee at the lake constance so that's going to be an event that we're going to be covering this weekend and sub racing is is very healthy there's no nothing you can say yes sure overstock inflatables you know everybody was like let's produce more inflatables let's let's jam the market you know let's let's put in more inflatables let's throw them in all the all the big box stores so people getting getting them shoved down their throats you know slash the prices and all of that and look what happened we all know what happened the market is way oversaturated and who's paying the price well budgets are paying the price i'm paying the price for not having as good of an advertising year um sub stations and rental places are paying the price because well actually maybe they're not paying the price because they're getting lower prices on actually their rental gear that they can rent out later uh, but uh, companies are certainly paying the price. Uh, the people who are supporting sub racers are paying the price. For example, the entire Team Fanatic, as we all know, has paid the price for that one. So yeah, but sub racing is very, very healthy. And this weekend is going to be a busy one. As I said, it's going to be a very busy one. We have a big Euro Tour SCP race coming up in france and as we've seen on social media connor baxter has already traveled over to europe so which gives me uh, the impression that he's not just going to go over there for one race because after the next weekend there is going to be the short boyd's german sub race that's also going to be a big one there's going to be an app tour in portugal coming up in july so i think connor's going to be over there for a while we saw noik and his brother were traveling over there i saw that on social media so guys are heading back to europe for kind of like the next leg i'd say the big legs there's a lot of price money off the euro tour and other sup races i did not see fiona wild she's still in the top 10 in the sub rankings but she's in switzerland doing the wing foiling race on the lake silva plana so i'm wondering if she's gonna join in at some point for sub racing or if she's gonna stick with the wing and then not only in Europe it's going to be busy, next month is downwind month in Hawaii and we're going to have a lot of content coming out of that one. We're going to start with the Molokai Holokai channel crossing. We're going to be reporting from that channel crossing from Maui to Molokai. That's going to be a big one, kind of like a weekend a weekend over on Molokai with starting on Friday getting over to Molokai. Then the next weekend we're following with the Paddle Mua, and then after that we're gonna have the M2O and we have some legendary names from the sub world 
returning to Hawaii and that is going to be super cool because now all those channel crossing races are no longer just paddle races it is everything we have particularly at the Molokai and at the at the Maui Molokai and at the Paddly Moa we have OC1s, OC2s, we have sub foiling, we have wing foiling, we have sub with like anything goes, you can make it down those bumps, you can go. Same thing for the M2O, we have winging and foiling and sub and prone and we have the uh, Maui the Molokai with the same thing. So everything can go except the M2O remains winging and sub foiling and prone and sub. But as you guys can see, our sport is diverting and everybody's kind of doing a little bit of everything. And we're going to have so many videos coming out of this. And I am guarantee you for 100% sure we're going to see you in one of those next videos.